we knew full well going into this study that there was a risk of death going into this, doing this. Uh, looking back, I mean, where I was, I had no other choice but to do, to take part in this. I tried all the other therapies and they obviously were, were not working. So I put my life in their hands and, and I took a leap of faith and turned out that it, it worked for me. So MS is a, an autoimmune disease. It's one, a, a disease where the patient's own immune system recognizes part of the body and mistakes it for something foreign and, and attacks it. I trained as a, as a leukemia specialist and, and someone who did uh, bone marrow transplants. And we often changed immune systems because we would do take a donor's bone marrow and immune system and put it into a recipient. We thought we could use the same technique to wipe out an MS patient's immune system, get rid of the problem, and then put back stem cells and, and grow that into a new immune system. And in the initial group, uh, two to three years following the transplant, uh, somewhat remarkably, they started getting better. Think about it. Jennifer, she freaked me out one day when she came into the clinic wearing high heels. This is a girl who can barely walk, and I went, they're wearing heels. So we, we knew something special was going on, and we tried to figure out what it was that maybe was uh, uh, stimulating recovery or repair. I think he had a tear in his eye because like, he was shocked that, I mean, here I was, you know, he just, I've been with him since the beginning of my disease. He watched me walk, get worse, go from walking to leg braces, to canes, to the walker, to the wheelchair, to being fully incapacitated, and then watch me recover. Our treatment uh, has halted all the, the relapses in, in our group of patients. And about uh, three quarters of our patients have been uh, have not had further disabilities develop. And indeed, surprisingly, about 40% uh, of our patients had recovery of some of the, the disabilities that have been very long standing. So I did not get better overnight. I mean, people think stem cells and I got up and walked out of bed. That, that, that's not what happened. It took at least a year and a half before I started to feel normal. I had infections and I had shingles. I had developed a blood infection. I like to sit around your heart. So once I started to regain my strength from the chemotherapy, and I, you know, it was, it was the little things. I was able to go down the stairs, still holding on the railing, but also noticing I was carrying things like books in one arm. And then I was carrying laundry down the stairs. And then about four years later, it's like, oh, I think I can start to drive again. I went to work, I got a part-time job. Then I was working full-time, I could drive again, kayak, ski, I was play with my nieces. I was doing playing laneway hockey with them. I was having them for sleepovers. I was driving them around. I watched two of them be born. I was in the room. I mean, how exciting is that? What this treatment has done that the other ones have not accomplished is, is a complete elimination of all detectable inflammation going on uh, up to the last collection point, which is uh, some 10 to 13 years from when the first transplant was being done. Every other drug that is out there currently for MS controls the disease, but does not eliminate it. It minimizes disease. And when it does it, we have to keep switching therapies for those patients. This is a treatment for those patients with the most aggressive forms of MS because of the risks of the procedure. It's not for everybody, but for those with the most aggressive MS that could be predicted to, to be very disabled in a very short time, uh, this tur turns around the disease and stops that from happening. I got my life back. I got a second chance at life thanks to this study. I'm happy to be part of the team that took care of of patients and got them through this treatment.